Hi everybody, today I'm making a recipe that is quite well known but uh, one sometimes tends to forget about it. It's quick and easy. Um, I think they call it something like a saddle potato. So I have nine um, potatoes here that I've just cut through, as you will see here. You just um, cut them, but not completely through, that it is still, um, you know, the, the, it's not loose from each other. And then you just pack it in a, in a pot. And I'm going to melt 250 grams of margarine. You can also use butter, of course. And then I'm going to mix that with brown onion soup powder. And then uh, you just pour it over the potatoes and it goes into the oven. So it's really quick, easy and um, very tasty. It took one minute in the microwave for the margarine to melt. And now I'm just mixing in the soup powder and then I'm just going to pour it over the potatoes. I've poured the margarine and onion powder over the potatoes. I've preheated my oven on 180 degrees and I'm going to put it in the oven for one and a half hours to two hours until the potatoes are nice and crispy. I got this beautiful succulent strawberries. So I'm going to make a, a salad with our potatoes and um, I'm going to use the strawberries as my um, main base for the salad and then I also found this beautiful basil so these are going to be my, my main ingredients and as I build the salad and I go along I will show you what else I'm going to add next, uh, next I'm going to add to our salad some rosa tomatoes um, two leeks and then I also found some feta with black pepper and I think the black pepper will go very nicely with the strawberries so I'm going to add all of this now our salad is already looking very nice it's coming along nicely I'm also going to add an avo and then some nice fresh herb salad I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of lemon juice over the avos in order to keep them from becoming black uh, before I add the salad. I've also added some pica nuts. Um, I think roasted almonds will also be great in here just to give the salad a little bit of crunchiness. Our salad dressing is just some pure honey that I'm going to just warm a little bit in the microwave and then some glazed balsamic. So I'm just going to uh, mix the two and then I'm going to use this as our salad dressing. Our salad is done. The potatoes are almost finished. Um, and I know it is terrible to eat a lot of carbs, but I can't resist this. So I am cooking some rice. Uh, I just love the, the sauce of the potato, that gravy, to put it over the rice. Oh, it's delicious. So if you can stomach a lot of carbs, um, some nice balsamic rice with the salad and the potato will really go well together. I'm sorry, it's really funny because of the balsamic in the salad dressing. Um, I'm confused with the balsamic now. <laughs> so this is basmati rice, of course. So a nice um, basmati rice with the potatoes and the salad will really go well together. The potatoes are done. Doesn't this look really nice? Um, I can't wait, wait to taste it and I will show you what it looks like once it is dished up. As you will see, it's just one hearty meal. Um, there is the, the nice um, sauce of gravy from the potatoes and the salad. So this is really a homemade meal. Um, I hope you will try it sometime and that you will really also enjoy it.